if you did not know, I got married last year and I believe when you get married, I think the enemy is really going to try, especially if the woman or your man is chosen by God for you to marry. I truly believe that. I believe the enemy will try to separate you all. If not issues between you and your spouse, I think outward distractions. And me and my wife have so many outward distractions. I would say back-to-back -back <laughs> issues from the outside. Let me say this too. If you are married or if you are going to get married, communication, I think, is key. We all don't think the same. We all don't feel similar in the same things. If you are understanding what I am trying to say. So I can misunderstand what you are trying to say to me. You can misunderstand what, what did I say? <laughs> I can misunderstand what you are trying to say to me. You can misunderstand what I am trying to say to you. So, I believe so much talking is necessary. So much speaking about your feelings and how you feel about this issue, that issue, I think that is so important, extremely, I would say. And if you can't solve an issue, pray about it. Continue to pray about it. Let me say this too. Let me jump over here. If you are trying to get married, I think some people choose a spouse based upon like fragile things, like things that don't really, things that don't really have a solid foundation. Like, I want this woman or man because, mainly because they are beautiful. I want this woman or man because they are rich, they are popular, they have a nice house, they come from a prestigious family. Like marrying based upon like empty things, if that makes any sense. Like, if you are marrying out of beauty, how many people stay beautiful from now to age 80 or 70? Aren't your looks going to fade? Like, if you are marrying for money, do you care how that person is treating you? I think some people are marrying out of empty reasons. For myself, 
what was important to me, hey, the woman have to serve God. Will she make mistakes? Of course, but she must serve God. She must, according to the Bible, respect me in the way the Bible implies, as well as I have to respect her as well. Like, that was the main thing there. Like, if, if a woman was not willing to do that, like, how can things work between me and her? I hope this makes sense. For me, I am looking for, I guess I can say the long haul, meaning I don't want to get divorced, then uh, remarry, then divorce again, then remarry, because what are some of the reasons why or probably one of the reasons why a couple divorces maybe due to disrespect maybe constant problems so that kind of goes with respect i guess so if i am serving god and she is serving God, even if I have a problem with my wife, we are going to go to God. So God is our foundation. So I didn't marry someone because mainly of how they look and because that person has this or have that because like, Me liking you, like, how long is that going to last? Like, I hope this makes sense. Like, let's say I like you. After going into an argument and this problem and that problem and this problem, the way I feel for you may change. So if I marry you because I like you or because you are pretty or because you have money, but we have constant issues and I did not marry based upon, you know, like you serve God and I serve God, how long can that relationship last? If it do last, because I think some people stay in marriages where they continue to cheat on each other. So is that really a marriage? I guess by document, yes, but relationship wise, I think not. I don't want that. So let me choose a spouse who goes by the Bible who will respect me and I will respect her to where I have to treat her according to the Bible as well as her to me. So let's marry based upon, I guess I can say foundational biblical principles, right? Kevin, I saw this woman and she was wearing a really short dress and her behind was so plump and her chest was so wow and I want to be with her for the rest of my life. If you are marrying based upon her body, primarily, I think it is not going to work. I think 
some people are marrying based upon immature reasons. Immature reasons. And wonder why they remarried two or three times. Or why can't things work out when I get married? I believe you have to change the way you think. I believe some people may wonder why. Stop marrying based upon childish. I work somewhere and sometimes, you know, I may see kids and when some kids see like a flashy toy or a pretty kiddish dress, like I think some of them get really excited and like mom, mom, dad, dad. I think some people choose a spouse based upon what they can see on the outside. Not really thinking how things are going to work. Like, will we respect each other? Like, <laughs> how do you believe things are going to turn out? You marrying, you are marrying based upon fragile reasons. I hope this makes sense. So if you want to marry, work on yourself or continue to do so. Pray to God for a spouse. I know I did. And I believe some people prayed for me too. So I hope this makes sense. Like, yes, that man or woman may look good. They may have a lot of money. They may have this or that. But will things work? I don't want to divorce. I want to stay married until I die. So, in my eyes, to accomplish that, I had to choose wisely. I had to see if we are truly compatible, not sexually compatible, but firstly, spiritually compatible. Because after a while, I believe that sex stuff gets old, right? Unless you are jumping from person to person, which that is wrong. So choose wisely. Let me stop here. God bless you.